creativity is a journey. I think it's something that has to be nurtured and starts when you're really young. So I grew up in Soho, New York which was a garment district. There, every night when I'd walk my dog with my dad, uh, there would be the sort of negative spaces of patterns in rolls cut out. So those I would use to create clothing on my doll, my sister's dolls that I would steal in the beginning, or on He-Man dolls, or on a Shira doll, or on Smurfs. I think, you know, my memory was is probably going into visiting my grandparents in New Jersey and stealing yarmulkes and cutting them to make sort of 18th century hoop skirts for the dolls. So I think, you know, creativity can find itself anywhere. Something like a yarmulke is just symbolic. It's, a, you know, it's actually not a sacred object. In high school, I made yarmulke bras, and that's what young creators should do. Not necessarily cut up yarmulkes, but, you know, find the materials that you can use because, you know, we live in a world with so much excess that it's great uh, to be able to recycle and interpret. Well, it normally makes a good B cup. It's quite an exciting time. When I work with an actor, I like it to be very genuine. I don't pay actors to wear my clothing, you know, which has sort of, you know, become very popular in the industry. To me, it's if somebody feels like they have an attachment to a piece or to my brand or to me. I try to work with them on sort of who they are now and what they want to be and how they want to present themselves as the public and a responsibility to glamour and to Hollywood. So we have lots of fittings happening, fingers crossed, you know, you never know. I've zipped people into dresses, put them in the car when I've been in LA and gotten back to my hotel and seen them in a different gown or dress. But, you know, so far we've started some really lovely collaborations, and we'll see, you never know. But most important is our show, which is coming up on September 9th. Me, Cynthia Rowley, and uh, Loren Scott all got together and we looked at sort of these finalist t-shirts and said, you know, who interpreted this piece? Who made a t-shirt that we thought would do well at Target stores and would help uh, promote the brand? Our winner was Gustavia Alonso and his t-shirts right there. The balance of fashion, mystery, the magic, the glamour of it, of a red trench and on the go and caffeinated. Women, music, uh, color, paint strokes, uh, my puppies, my staff, uh, my, uh, my hands, um, great film, um, great books. Thank you so much.